What's up guys, this is Detox here, and this is going to be my first Black Ops 2 video that you guys are going to see from me. This is actually going to be the start of my new series that I'm calling Pick 10. Just to give you guys a little bit of an in-depth on the series before I actually start the video, basically this series is where I'm going to go through each and every individual gun. I'm going to give you my favorite class setup for it, and I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a gameplay in the background with that same exact class and the same score streaks and all that kind of stuff that I'll be talking about. This is not going to be an in-depth stats game, guys. This isn't going to be like, you know, Drifter's in-depth stats that he does, like where he gives you all the numbers and stuff. This is going to be talking about the feel of the gun, how I feel with the gun, what I think is the best thing to be using with this gun. This is not going to be, you know, this gun does 27 damage at close range and 5 damage at a drop-off. Um, I'll be giving you guys just how I feel about the gun, my feelings on the gun, my favorite class setup for the gun, and I might be giving you guys a little bit of a tips and tricks with the gun that you guys may not have known about. So, without further ado guys, let's start the video. What's up guys, it's Detox here, otherwise known as Andrew, and I am bringing you guys the first episode of my new Pick 10 series. Before I actually get the series underway guys, I have to thank someone for giving me the idea to do this series. He probably forgot about the fact that, he, that he's the one that gave me the idea, or he probably forgot that, like, I, that he told me, or, you know, someone probably forgot in this mix, but I do have to thank ED Fungers for giving me the idea to do the series, guys. I'm super excited to start this up. I never would have thought to do something like this. So you guys got to go over to his channel and thank him personally for giving me the idea to do this series. Uh, thank you so much, Fong. I really appreciate it. It's a really, really good idea. So without further ado, guys, let's actually get into the series here. Um, I'm going to be doing all the guns in order, guys. I'm going to start from the SMGs and work my way down through each and every individual class, covering every single gun of my favorite setups for each gun and what I think is the best to use on that weapon and how to play using that weapon. First here we got the MP7. Everyone remembers the MP7 from Modern Warfare 3. It's a laser gun, you know, you could <laughs> it's pretty much a tryhard gun of Modern Warfare 3. However, in Black Ops 2 it has a few changes to it, minor changes, but they do make the gun a little bit less uh, I don't know how to put it. Not newbie because the gun like that's kind of a bad way to put it, but you guys get what I'm meaning. But I have the MP7 here, I'm using primary gunfighter so I can get a third attachment on it. I have suppressor, fast mag, and laser sight. Now I have no secondary for it. I have no secondary and I'll explain why once I actually get into explaining about the gun. I have perk 1 flak jacket, I have perk 2 greed so that way I have cold blooded and scavenger, and I have perk 3 dexterity. So without further ado guys, I want to jump into the commentary here and start explaining why I have these class setups and what each individual thing does to help me better throughout the game. Alright guys, now that we're into the gameplay here, before I start off explaining this gun, this gun is not for the faint of heart. If you guys do not like playing defensively and holding down objectives and things like that, this gun is probably not going to be for you. You guys are probably going to want to use something a little bit more rush friendly. However, the MP7 is a great weapon to take down, to take a flag, hold that flag, and hold that flag for the whole game, guys. It is an amazing weapon to just sit there and hold that flag down. As I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you guys in this gameplay. As soon as I switch to the MP7, um, I'm going to start jumping on top of B. We're going to get the flag, and we're going to hold it down for a really, really long time until I die. Once I die, we lose the flag. That just proves, you know, how good this weapon is in holding down the flag, holding down choke points. So, when I was explaining the class, I told you guys I would explain why I have no secondary. Well, the reason why I have no secondary on this class is because I have Scavenger, and I also have Perk 2 Greed, so that we have Cold Blood and Scavenger. Scavenger in this game, guys, and it is, it is an amazing resource. It allows you to pick up so much ammo, especially for a gun that has 40 rounds in the clip. This gun has 40 rounds in the clip, guys. That is standard without extended mags. That means that this gun can spray from the hip. It can. It's it's a spray and pray weapon, guys. There's no other real way to put it. It is an amazing weapon, and it will definitely help you guys out defending flags. If you guys are looking for a weapon, you know, to use this thing as something to run around and get kill streaks with really, really fast, this is not going to be your choice of weapon, guys. This thing has so little range to it. It's very, very accurate, very minor recoil, and it has really, really good iron sights. However, the problem with it is, is that its range is so minute that you're probably going to be putting six bullets into someone at a long range before you're able to kill them, and that's just not going to be enough to match up to other SMGs and assault rifles in the game, guys. It's not going to work out. So I highly suggest putting the suppressor on there, staying hidden from the radar when you're defending these flags. That way people don't 
uh, try to gang rush you or anything like that. Using the laser sight for those sticky situations where you need to hip fire someone, and using the fast mags. The fast mags help out so much in this game, guys. It's basically sleight of hand. It just allows you to reload so fast in this game, especially when you're in hairy situations and you need to get that quick reload off just to make sure that you get all your bullets into someone and you get that important kill. Now, to start off with the perks here, I'm using Flak Jacket for one reason and one reason only. To not die from grenades, guys. If any of you guys have ever played Domination or any type of objective game type, you guys know that when you're playing that game type, that grenades are flying, guys. The grenades are flying everywhere on top of the thing. And oh, look at the get that little quad there. It's beautiful. I like it. Get that. And then you get them grenades on the B flag and all the flags and things like that. And, you know, it, it's a pain. And Flak Jacket in this game is not as good as it was in the original Black Ops. However, it is still such a good resource. It's better than Blast Shield and Mono for 3. And I highly recommend using it if you're not using Ghost, guys is an amazing perk and I highly recommend it especially for using this type of weapon when you need to be on top of flags at all times. Now, I'm using perk 2 Greed so I can have Cold Blooded and Scavenger. Now I explained why I was already using Scavenger before so that way I can get more ammo in my clip when I'm on top of these flags and defending them. However, I'm using Cold Blooded because most of the time when you're on top of these flags, you're I guess you're quote unquote camping guys. You're pretty much camping the flags that way they don't capture it back. You're playing to win the game guys. You're not playing for social status in Call of Duty. You're playing to win the game. So I'm using Cold Blooded so I can stay off of AI controlled uh, kill streaks, guys. Such as like if someone ends up getting a high kill streak killing a bunch of my teammates or anything like that. And uh, excuse me guys. And uh, they get a high kill streak and you know I'm still defending the flag you know usually when they get that high kill streak they'll start jumping on the flag so you want to stay off of that so that way you can keep defending the flag so it's a really really good perk especially because you don't have any of that red cross hair or anything when you're targeted so that way if you're prone on the ground and you're waiting for someone to walk past you they won't notice you they'll walk right past you guys so and then Perk 3 Dexterity. Now this one might seem a little bit weird considering the fact this seems to be a very stationary setup, setup that I have here for you guys. Well, the reason why I'm using Dexterity is because of the fact that you aim down faster, you know, holding with your sights when you're running. So basically, when you're running, it's basically Lightweight Pro from Modern Warfare 2. You aim faster after you sprint. And it's an amazing perk because when you're defending that B flag, you know, you're not just sitting down prone waiting for people to come at you. Even though I think that's what most people are going to, you know, think that I'm trying to tell you guys to do here. Basically, the point is for you to run at someone, get right in their face, and believe me, aiming down the sight with this gun will help you out so much. So much, guys. So I highly recommend using this setup, guys, especially when you're playing objective game types. So if you guys have any questions on how to use this setup better or how to you know, maximize your setup with the MP7, please message me and I'm always available to talk to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'd appreciate it. Please give this video a like for my first pick 10 and tell me what you guys liked and what you guys didn't like and what I should change for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.